Solving piracy problem isn't rocket science. Fela Durutui. <laughs> Alliance for New Nigeria ANN presidential candidate Fela Durutui says it's not rocket science to solve the problem of piracy bedelving the entertainment sector in Nigeria. Fela Durute said this in an interview with Hip TV while speaking on how he hopes to make the entertainment industry viable once he becomes the president of Nigeria. Well, let me say that it is not rocket science to be able to solve any problem, whether it is piracy, whether it is counterfeiting, and whatever the issues are, it's not rocket science. You just need what is called the leadership will, which is the desire and the power to be able to get the right things done and do the right things the right way. Now, I am I myself I am someone who's a writer. I've written four books. So again, as someone who has who is who is a, a, a creative person, um, I understand what it means for you to put your creative talents and and all the work that goes into it to and then some other people who will just use up a lot of that, use the the lack of systems and the lack of institution protection. To, to make sure to, to, to steal. It's actually robbery. Every time you see counterfeiting, every time you see piracy, it is robbery because everybody who has any creative gift from God deserves to earn from their creative gift and to be able to grow themselves. And, and whenever people cannot earn from a gift, they will not be able to develop that gift and it will not be able to become skill and they will not be able to... So, so what the entertainment sector as well as the creative industry in Nigeria has suffered the most is from the hands of the poor protection by the government. In our, I believe that the reason why piracy is thriving is because we have not protected the industry. And you said something that is very important. Three things that have to work well for any society to thrive. Number one, your government must work well. Number two, your policing force must work well. And number three, your judiciary must work well. When your government works well, they set out the, poli the policies and the laws. When the policing works well, they enforce the policies and the laws. And when those laws are violated, there is remediation and you can go and get justice in a judicial system. Where where those three things work well, people are able to keep law and order. So the, I, I believe that these are the, definitely three things that we need to strengthen to make sure that our entertainment industry works well. So the three, my three key point agenda for the entertainment industry is that we must invest in strengthening our institutions. And those institutions must be the institutions that help to develop our creative talent into world-class skill world-class skill and and i'm not just talking about the talent itself but also the management of that talent even when we see really really great uh talent in nigeria not many of them are poorly managed so they don't really get good deals they don't negotiate good deals even when they go on the international stage they don't get the best deals out of those opportunities so we need not only to to be able to develop our, our, our talent, our creative talent, but we need to develop our management talent so that we have good managers for you know, great, great talent. The second most important thing is that we need to ensure that that industry has access to low cost funding. Because for creative industry, as you know, there's usually a lot of work that goes in and money that goes into the production of world-class output or broadcast production and that money doesn't come back immediately i mean you think about what just happened with with genevieve and naji great thing that she got a good deal with netflix but guess what where's she going i mean they've done it now and the next thing is that the pirates are out there the money she's supposed to get back from that from the movie is she's losing losing it to pirates how does that help her to be able to quickly get to the point where she's able to reinvest in another project so we've got to make sure that you, you don't only have world-class, but you have world-class funding, okay, uh, or low-cost funding for, for the industry. The last and the most um, important thing is that we must fight piracy to the end. On the absence of President Muhammad Buhari and PDP's candidate Atiku Abubakar from the presidential debate, Fela Durote had this to say. The candidates weren't surprised. We knew that they were not going to show up. We, in fact, to be honest with you, we were very surprised when uh, uh, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar showed up in the, in the green room, which was the holding area before we stepped on the stage. And, and we were very surprised when he said he was going to join us 
But again, then we were not surprised when he didn't join us. Because again, this is one of the things that we've been talking about. The debate is a platform to share with the people um, what it is that the candidates have in, in mind. It made a mockery of the two political parties. That's what it did. The debates in this sense showed us that, the, that these parties not only do not care, that they are so arrogant and proud that they do not even feel the need to talk to Nigerians. And they think that they are bigger and better than all the other people. And, and, and of course, this is, this is the same way they've treated us before. Nobody should be surprised, right? And I've always said it before, my name is Fela Durotoye. Fela is one name, Duroto is another name, but you are describing the same person. The same way, APC is one name, PDP is another name, but it's the same party. APC is maybe first name, PDP is second name, uh, or son name. It is the same party. Their behavior is the same. So we have, we have to realize that Nigeria, it is time for us to get freedom from these guys that don't hold us in regard. It is time for us to get our freedom from these two political parties that have brought in the most prosperous nation on earth and made us become the poverty capital of the world, 